Hey you right guys, Drew from just Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Riverdale season 4. Can't wait to see what the writers have just come up with with this episode. It's going to be exhilarating to find out, of course. Um, will Cheryl talk to her corpsey brother some more? Probably. Hopefully not. Hopefully they make her like a normal character again, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she needs help. So we'll find out in episode 5. If you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want uncut reactions to Riverdale, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. Uh, from this point onwards, I'm going to take the show as a joke because um, the writers do. So ever since episode 3, 2, 2? No, episode 2 I think was okay. It was 3. Was it 3? I think it was 3. 3 onwards of this season, taking Riverdale as a joke because it's evident that that's what the writers are doing. So, let's go. They say every town gets the hero it deserves. Riverdale's was Archie Andrews. <laughs> high school athlete by day, would be well, crime fighter by night. Is he though? In the shadows of Sketch Alley. No way, they actually turned him into Batman. You wouldn't want to be caught there too long after dark. But if that's common knowledge, why would you go down there at night? It's Archie Andrews, please jump off the roof. Oh, he didn't jump off the roof. <laughs> Oh, no way! Did you see him squat? Like, he's actually Spider-Man. Same thing as when you drugged me, Donna. Oh, yeah, that was sick, Bans. That was sick when they buried him alive. Oh, that was such good Bans. Wait, Mr. Chipping, you wrote a Baxter Brothers mystery? Great you cover. Paxton? I am. Well, I'm fighting for my freedom. <laughs> I'm such a troll. <laughs> With serial killers. Yeah, brother is so hot. Now I put together a little extra show. Sure, he's also a psycho, so this is great. This is a crime scene. Correct again. Your intuition is like a sixth sense. Mad. Well, after so, two guesses. If she get five in a row, then I'll be impressed. For serial killers. Now, can any of you guess... Is it going to be like, because I'm a serial killer? Nothing. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the point? And the CDH-13 genes. Also known as... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Betty's a serial killer! Oh god, I can't wait to see what she does next. Fuck me. The missing page. Late night, Red? Yeah, just fine crime. Three's kicking my ass this year. Come what on, do you name Archie? fine crime. Doing my thing. Oh, we're gonna go fine Wait, what the fuck? That inconsistency. Half the graffiti was up there and then it was covered. What the fuck? Didn't have the greatest home life growing up. But your books really helped me through it. Jughead oh, is the newest. Jughead's kind of cute. This is the most story. promising group of students that have ever taught. We are always looking for young and clever minds to keep our adventures fresh and relevant. Now, if you're interested in the job, you'll have to write the first three chapters of the next Baxter Brothers novel and an outline. It's kind of cute. I like this well, story. Honestly, I'm winning that. I pulled your files, Miss Cooper. I can confirm that you do have. The MAOA <laughs> H13 G. You are a serial killer, Betty. Gotta be kidding me. Go on, Archie. Put on the mask. Alright, that's a bit. Uh, what am I saying? That was a bit cringe, obviously. Hey, but... <laughs> 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 Great. Who are you? Great. I wanna know who's behind the mask. That was risky, Archie. This is so dumb. <laughs> Why are we surprised? One thing we see in a lot of serial killers are instances of animal cruelty in their youth. Jeffrey Dahmer, the cannibal of Milwaukee, started killing dogs when he was in grade school. How could you kill a dog? Imagine. I mean, the serial killers. I'm all the dark deeds you did. In <laughs> we both know that we drowned Caramel. Robert Thompson used to. Oh, oh my Jim Fater, serial killer, big jokes. Betty. Who the fuck says? The cabin where you claim to have shot Tallboy. Do you know who owns that cabin, Sheriff? Hermione Lodge. Oh. Order. A bit of a brawl or two. Forsyth got into all kinds of rabble rousing before he left Stonewall. Is that why he left? He was kicked out for fighting? Oh, it was so long ago, I don't remember the exact circumstances. I will go find your I will never forget that. his talent. Would you invite your father to the reception tomorrow? I, mean, I would love to meet Forsyth's son. Oh, he's kind of cute. Yeah, I'll see if he can come. <laughs> I sound designer. 
What is this creepy okay? bullshit? Let's not. Jeez, did she actually do that? Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> Shut up. Put on a tie and a blazer, and just so you know, my old man wasn't a writer. He was a dropout, all right? He couldn't hold down a job. He was a mean, mean drunk who took all of his anger out on me and on your grandma. It was the best day of my life when he skipped out on us, so do Damn. I want to hear about what a great writer he was back in high school? No. That's fair. If she pleads guilty, I need you to grant her a pardon immediately. In exchange, I won't release this file of incriminating Great, so her black maid introduced slowly. What do you say, Donald? Or governors. It wouldn't be a proper reunion without a little game of murder. Ugh. If the rules are as follows, everyone draws a card. If you are winked at, you die. Five seconds later. Of course. <laughs> I used to love this game. This game was sick. Oh, by the way. Wicked <laughs> oh, Jughead, he's the murderer. Yeah, because I just killed you. No, I knew it was him beforehand. I win. You sorry, bro. I can't hear you because you're dead. No, I'm not. I, 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 boys, boys, let's let's be men about this. It's clear that Jughead Jones won the game fair and square, and what a formidable what? murderer he was. Well, you should have called it when the guy died because he's an old idiot. Serial killers are compulsive. They leave clues, take trophies, keep records, journals, diaries. Oh, can we stop with this? See themselves Boom. Bomb. Bomb. Oh, I did that in the past. Reality and fantasy. Oh, uh, I have a diary. What, oh, did you write some creepy shit like, oh, I want to chop someone's toe off? A car hit her. And I found her on our front lawn. Mm. She was in pain. So you killed her. Dying. Okay. Are they actually going to do anything with this story, though? Or is it just, like, thrown in? I know this was hinted at since season one, so it's not like it's out of nowhere. I'll give it that. Invite some of the yokels over for a get-to-know-you clam bake. People are less likely to call the cops if they've had a conversation. What happened to the serp? They disbanded, is that right? The serpents. They just disappeared, but I don't remember them having a scene of them. Some dirt-poor scholarship kid. I'm here because of my writing. Just get over it. No, Jughead. You're not here because of your talent. The admissions committee? Oh, this kid is so salty. You couldn't even make it a semester. That is your past, present, and future, Jughead. <laughs> Go in. Shut your mouth! Stop it! So you have inherited his temper, too, huh? <laughs> After every scene. The thing is, many of us business owners are getting pressure to speak out against your center. Not by Iron Lodge. No, um, his name is Dodger. Oh, this Dodger kid, oh. Come back to Riverdale High to be with my friends. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, you're not, mate. You know better than my old man. If you hate him so much, then why would you name me after him? It's my name too, don't forget, and yeah, I hate him. But he's still my old man, so that's gotta count for something now. Those books weren't from me. Your granddad sent them from wherever the hell he was. Oh. I didn't tell you, because because I'm still angry at how he treated us. And he was a hard This man. story's the only one that's no holding off. Between us, but I gotta get I the think. devil to do those books you love. You have no idea where he is now? No. Do you want me to look for him? No, I don't. But I'll tell you what I do want. I want you to go back. I want you to do what my father never did, what I never did. Graduate high school. Show those preppies. What it means to be a Jones man. Bring honor to our name. Fair play. Quitting the program, Charles. The better you're in. All right, babe. Yeah, see you later. I don't give a fuck. It's too easy for me. Fault. I could identify every single killer in your slideshow. I have the genes too. <laughs> in fact, it's why I joined the FBI uh, to control those impulses. It's like Dexter now. You have. Sounds like you just got some good news. <laughs> that ADR. That ADR could see the lip sync off. Same as your father, to frame and bring false charges against Hiram. That's not true. Yes, it is. I have Wrecked. many recordings of you two plotting 
including a conversation you two had. That booth <laughs> You see, our father needed help. Wait, what? Someone he could trust. So he had me come up from I thought she looked a bit like Veronica. Yeah. That's what I do. I don't understand. I'm Hiram's other daughter. Oh, God. I go <laughs> Be leaving Riverdale. On the contrary, I am excited to fulfill a lifelong dream of mine and announce my candidacy for mayor <laughs> of Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Forget is Charles gay or straight. I'm interested in is he a serial killer or not? Mm. I'm serious, Kevin. The only places what I've ever seen him are great storyline. My house and the FBI office. <laughs> we need to talk. I'm Archie. Consider this a declaration of war. Leave town. Great. But the next time we meet, you won't be driving away. You won't even. He's be shitting himself. It's a promise. <laughs> oh, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. Oh, he is literally Batman, Jesus. And I'm winning. And please, Mr. Chipping, from here on, you can call me Forsyth, the third. <laughs> Wrecked, Fabler. Archie Andrews, Betty Cooper, and Veronica Lodge, you're under arrest for the cold blooded murder of my son, <laughs> Jones. Yeah, all right then. This is all a play. This is all a play. All sell. Whatever. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode uh, five. Jesus Christ, episode five of Riverdale, season four. Um, yeah. Betty's storyline was tragic, actually tragic. This whole storyline of her being a serial killer, having the serial killer genes, and now she's stalking her brother because he has the serial killer genes, and he's she wants to see if he's actually a serial killer. Feels like we've just treaded over the storyline a million times with this show, um, with Bay, and it's boring. It's actually boring. I hated that story. Uh, Veronica's was fine. Her kind of the the trial with Hermione and Hiram. I don't care for Hermione at all. Which is to me, I just don't care for her character. So whatever. Um, Hiram getting out is no surprise. The the show loves Hiram. They want to use him all the time. So they were gonna obviously shove him out of prison like that. And they did. Uh, the only interesting new aspect of that storyline was that we've got um, Veronica's sister, who's kind of in the play now. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. It could be interesting. Probably, probably won't be. Uh, Archie, I just that was like the apart from Betty's. Archie's was the cringe, stupid storyline of this this episode. I don't mind the whole uh, community center. That's fine. Like it's trying to do a cool thing, bringing on all the kids and making sure they don't turn into villains or whatever. And that's fine. I don't mind that part of the story. But him putting on this stupid ski mask and running around with a crowbar. Pretty, think, like doing these squats like he's fucking Spider-Man. It's just like, no. And again, this is the reason why I'm like, I don't... I'm going to take the show as a joke. Because the writers evidently take the show as a joke. Um, because that is a joke. <laughs> like, season one and two, it felt like the writers cared. Season three and four so far, it feels like they don't at all. Um... So yeah, that Archers was that storyline. The only storyline I genuinely enjoyed and I thought was actually, you know, well written. Oh, not well written, but it was better than the rest was Jughead's. Um, him kind of having the story of wanting to be the best in his little group or whatever and learning more about his grandfather as well and why, how his dad hates him and why his dad hates him. And that they don't know where he is, but I feel like we will, we will meet him at some point. Because they would have just said he was dead. Even though if he was dead, he probably wouldn't have actually been dead. And then he would have come back from the dead or some shit in Riverdale. Uh, but yeah, I felt like Jughead's story was actually good. I feel like Jughead's likeable now. I like that he's just got his own story, doing his own thing. Even though they all... I don't think any of them met up in this episode. All of the main cast kind of like actually had a scene together, which was weird this episode. Uh, but Jughead is by far the most interesting. By far. Uh, not even a competition. Veronica's was fine. Archie's was cheesy and cringe and Bez was just boring. Jughead's was actually enjoyable. So yeah, rating for the episode, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It would have been way lower if not for Jughead. It would have been like a 5 kind of thing. But Jughead's really held it up for me. Uh, yeah, this is just... I, 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 it's Betty's storyline. Why? You oh, killed the cat. I had a diary. It's so fucking stupid. I'm sure some people really love that story and I get it, but... 
for me, I feel like this show's done this with Betty so many times that it's getting a bit ridiculous. It's ridiculous anyway, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave, 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 leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week for episode six. Until then, peace.